Countries are now rolling out COVID-19 vaccines a year since the virus began impacting many facets of everyday life. The process has been one of the biggest challenges the world has ever faced. Choe Wen Jung helps us look back at the timeline of the development. From the first clinical trials to vaccines worldwide rolled out less than a year, this was the fastest development of a vaccine in history, and it was done in unprecedented circumstances. The U.S. government launched a program in May called Operation Warp Speed to expedite the COVID-19 vaccine by funding research at global pharmaceutical companies like Moderna and Pfizer. Its objective is to finish developing and then to manufacture and distribute a proven coronavirus vaccine as fast as possible. Again, we'd love to see if we could do it prior to the end of the year. Moderna's first trials has started in March using the mRNA approach to trigger the immune system to make antibodies to fend off infection. By midsummer, both Moderna and Pfizer had entered the final stage of trials, phase three. In under five months, by November, two vaccine developers have released results showing a vaccine efficacy above 90 percent. The next month was the start of a full-fledged inoculation. The UK was first authorizing more than 800,000 doses. A 90-year-old British woman was the first to get vaccinated in the official rollout. The U.S. was quick to follow. I am pleased to announce that late yesterday, the FDA authorized for emergency use the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. This is the first COVID-19 vaccine to be authorized in the United States. The U.S. is also using the Moderna vaccine, and the CDC says those two shots have been administered to more than 1.9 million people, including Vice President Mike Pence and President-elect Joe Biden, both of whom got it on live TV. To make a population safe from the virus, the World Health Organization estimates that 65 to 70 percent of people would need to be vaccinated, which is still a long way off. As reaching that goal, the WHO aims to make sure the vaccines are distributed fairly to countries both poor and rich through COVAX, the Global Vaccine Alliance. Chae Won-jong, Arirang News.